Morning everybody, how are y'all doing today? I'm doing fantastic myself because I finally got God of War specifically to make gameplay for this video, but honestly I've actually been enjoying it quite a lot. I already have almost six hours in it and I'm really enjoying the combat and the feel of the game. Now I know the gameplay might kind of suck because I die a bunch and I'm just gonna say right now I, I don't really care in all honesty. I was still learning the game up to this point. I was used to like Elden Ring where it dodges B instead of A and stuff like that. So apologies if some of my deaths look idiotic. But anyway, I figured that would be the perfect time to get into God of War with Ragnarok coming out soon, even though I'm not going to get a PS5. We all know it's coming to PC eventually. And of course, the PlayStation and Xbox fanboys are out in full force with just... At the time of this video going up, what, two days until the game releases? And today we're going to be taking a look at a boomer PlayStation fanboy who only loves old PlayStation, hates everything new PlayStation, everything is copy-paste to him, and he knows definitively that God of War Ragnarok is going to suck before it even comes out. I mean, he even called it garbage in the title in red letters with all caps. You know this man is not messing around. But I already know somebody's going to be like, oh, this guy's just a troll, you took the bait, you idiot. I'm aware he's a troll, guys. I'm not stupid. Come on, have some faith in me. It's just fun to play along for content. I get to make videos, and you guys get to get entertained. So I may have taken the bait, but ultimately I will reap the rewards. So with that little disclaimer out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the video. God of War Ragnarok is not only one of the worst games of 2022, but honestly one of the worst games to ever come out of PlayStation. If you're excited for this game, there is clearly something wrong with you. You are not normal, and you never will be. I'm so sick, man. So sick of you fake gamers. You frauds with terrible taste occupying the space that I built. I made PlayStation a household name, not you. I supported great games and built this brand up to what it is today. Not you. This is all me, not you. Well, you guys heard him. We should just bow down to him. He single-handedly made PlayStation the way it is today, which is kind of ironic because, you know, he hates how PlayStation is now, but he brags that he got it to this point. So not really sure what the logic is there in all honesty. But yeah, guys, if you're excited for this game, if you're excited to see the next chapter in Kratos and Atreus's adventures, then you're just a fraud. You're a fake gamer. And most importantly, there is obviously something wrong with you. But even though this dude is trolling, I just like to give a warning, this whole ego stroking thing is going to be present throughout the entire video. So if that kind of stuff annoys you, maybe click off. The very fact that you're able to own a PlayStation and play games on PlayStation is because of me, all me. All the work I put in back in the day while you were still in the stroller sucking on your mom's hairy nipples. This is all me. All you losers with your PS4s, PS5s, new gen trash gamers that came out of nowhere and started hyping up garbage games like this, ruining PlayStation forever and it still hasn't recovered. I mean, come on, dude. If you're gonna troll, at least don't contradict yourself every five seconds. You just said that you were the one who built PlayStation up to how it is today, and now five seconds later, you're saying that everybody else ruined it. I mean, which one is it? Did you build it up, or did the other people build it up? Also, what kind of money do you have if you single-handedly built up PlayStation to this point? Can I get some of it? You know, I remember the old days when you didn't have to deal with these annoying bad tastes having frauds. These losers with bad taste. You didn't have to deal with these reviewers that aren't anywhere near credible. Just say what they're paid to say. Walking, talking robots, walking, talking shills. Listen, if you actually believe these God of War Ragnarok reviews are real, all this praise that the game is getting is real, you're even more stupid than I imagined. Anyone with a quarter of a brain, which is honestly even less than what most of you watching this video have, if we're being real, you're not all there up top. You're not dealing with a full deck of cards. You can never be as intelligent as me, as truly sophisticated as me, but who could? No one. I see this man is taking a page out of Quantum TV's book when it comes to argument tactics. Just insult everybody watching your video. Say that they're dumber than you because they have a different opinion. 10 out of 10 logic. And funny enough, 10 out of 10 is almost the score that God of War Ragnarok has. But I mean, yeah, I guess ever since The Last of Us Part 2 drama, there's always the possibility Sony could be paying for reviews. But the difference here is there were never any major leaks, at least not like major bad ones from what I know surrounding the game that would like ruin everything. But I don't even know why people get so up in their feelings about reviews on a game in the first place. I enjoy Call of Duty even though most of the recent games have kind of sucked and have gotten really low scores. Somebody else's review and enjoyment of a game should not impact yours. If God of War 
score got a 1 out of 10 from everybody, I would still be enjoying it right now. Also, I find it funny this dude is criticizing other people getting paid to say only positive stuff when he gets paid to say only negative stuff, but I guess we're not going to bring that one up. But anyone who can at least tell their left from their right would know these reviews are just not real, bro. God of War Ragnarok deserves the lowest possible score you could give it, and that still wouldn't be accurate enough to describe how truly bad of a game this is. And honestly, what's even more pathetic is this game ended up getting the same score as the last God of War game in 2018, which is honestly pathetic when you think about it, right? So it's pathetic that a game almost got a perfect score. Do I have that right? Also, how do you know that it doesn't deserve a good score? Have you played the game yet? Did you get a review copy from Sony? Something tells me you didn't. Typical boomer logic. It's bad because it's new. It's like you're supposed to elevate as a developer. You're supposed to come out with something that's better. All this proves is they took the safe route, didn't know what to do, and this is just nothing but a total reskin let's do the bare minimum work because we know when we drop this garbage this is just a reskin of the last game that adds nothing new does nothing unique these idiots will still praise it why because it's god of war and because it's playstation how do you come out and get the same exact score as the last game you know how pathetic that is and it still doesn't even deserve that I'm still failing to understand how it's pathetic that it got the exact same score as the last game. Yeah, if the last game got a bad score, then sure, but the last game got a 94 out of 100. That's almost a perfect score. How is it pathetic that it did just as well? If a game got a 100 out of 100, and then its sequel was made, and that got another 100 as well, would that be pathetic because they couldn't get higher? No, dude, it wouldn't be. If it's a low score and it gets it both times, then that's pathetic but the fact that it got near a perfect score twice in a row is honestly really awesome also i find it very ironic that a boomer sony fanboy who you know fanboys for the old days back when everything was better he has a problem with them copy and pasting stuff now but his whole argument is he wants them to do exactly what they used to do he's saying oh it was so much better you know sony back in the day before the ps4 so you basically want them to copy paste the old stuff but you have a problem when they do that with the new stuff right even though this isn't copy paste all right sure bud it's like most games again they're getting better and better this review is higher this review is higher it's getting the same review as last time that proves that the game is trash it's stagnant it's going nowhere this game should have got at least a 98 it, it couldn't even get higher than Elden Ring and that was a horrible game now you're smack talking Elden Ring. Okay, dude, we're gonna have a problem here. You know what? How about this? Drop a like if you guys want me to cover the Elden Ring review. All you God of War fanboys, all you PlayStation fanboys, you're hyping this game up to be one of the best games of all time. It couldn't even get higher than the last game. It's a failure. It's a flop. I told you it was going to flop. And all these losers in the comment section said, well, how did the last game flop if it sold over like 20 million? There's over billions of people on this planet and it can only sell 20 million copies? You always love to see when a PlayStation fanboy tries to call out other PlayStation fanboys. Also, by the logic of, oh, it only sold 20 million so it's a flop that's not how that works dude by this logic no game is a success because no game has sold more than what like 300 million copies i just checked wikipedia and it said minecraft was the best selling game of all time with like 240 million copies but i'm not sure if that's accurate or not because i thought tetris took back over but either way yeah no game has sold more than 300 million copies so i guess every single game that's ever existed is a failure then but yeah the game turned a huge profit and it's beloved all over the the world so yeah don't really see how that's a failure and yeah it only sold 20 million you want to know why because for most of its life cycle it was only on one platform guarantee if it was on xbox and pc day one it would have sold at least double what it did didn't the playstation 4 have over 100 million sales so you're telling me only 20 million people out of those 100 million bought the game that is a flop this is a huge triple a release that had stupid budgets behind it stupid campaigns including uh, terrible actors and, and, and ball players trying to that has nothing to do with gaming coming out here trying to hype up the game do these corny commercials had all this behind it and it can only get a 94 on metacritic this game is a flop but it still doesn't even deserve the 94 it still doesn't deserve all the praise that it's getting. These are lies. And if you believe them, you are exactly what's wrong with gaming. 
it could only get a 94. Imagine if you were in school and you were taking a quiz and you got a 94 on the quiz and then you took it back home to your parents and you were like, look, mom, I did really well on this quiz. And they were like, wow, you could only get an A on it. There's not much better you can do. The fact that they were able to get the exact same score and not fall off at all is honestly extremely impressive. And again, how do you know the game doesn't deserve that? You haven't played it yet. See, here's the thing, right? You clowns move off of emotion, not facts. I move off of a facts. I don't care about your emotions or your feelings. You move off a of hype. As long as people are saying good things about something that's good to you. As long as it's popular, it's good to you. As long as this terrible YouTuber and streamer that you watch is talking about it and saying it's good, it's good to you. It just proves how truly stupid your logic is. And what has your logic been so far? It couldn't get better than a 94, which is almost a perfect score, therefore it's garbage. It's automatically bad even though it hasn't even come out yet. And the game is automatically a failure because it didn't sell 7 billion copies. I mean, if your logic is what's considered great logic, then I can only imagine how amazing the other people's logic must be. You bring up irrelevant things like sales to try to prove your point, fake review scores, by a bunch of shilling uh, 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 goddamn uh, reviewers and stuff like that. You bring up a bunch of shilling YouTubers and streamers with no free will. They get paid to say good things. The second you click on their trash content. And this video was sponsored by. And this video was sponsored by. And this video was sponsored by. This video is thanks to the day's sponsor. And this sponsor. And that's all you hear when you click on these garbage YouTubers. But these are the clowns that you watch. Honestly, you just sound like you're jealous that you don't get sponsors from any companies. Which, speaking of which, if any companies would like to sponsor me, I would be more than happy to talk. Just shoot me an email. Also, I love how he calls sales numbers irrelevant for whether the game was a success or not, but then brings up the Metacritic score. Like, dude, the score of a video game is one of the least relevant things to whether it's a success or not. Modern Warfare 2019 got really bad user scores, and it was still a huge success. And also, apparently, if a Metacritic score is good it's automatically a lie you can't believe it sony's paying everyone this dude is onto some quantum tv levels of conspiracy theory thanks to my sponsor pay shields get paid to say good things about games you stupid viewers uh, you people watching this video are just stupid you just blindly believe them could never be me. I move off of, I function off of true quality. Why? Because my self, me, myself, and I am something of true quality, pure beauty. Something that is far superior than the rest. You know what's funny, right? I mean, I wouldn't say you're stupid if you watch this video, but if you agree with this guy, then that might be where I have to start considering that. But let's go ahead and hear what's funny from this truly superior being to us. How does it feel knowing that no matter what you do, no matter where you go, all of you people watching this video right now, how does it feel to know that no matter where you go, no matter what you do, I'm better than you. I have incredible taste in video games, anime, manga, anything you can think of. I am the king of anime, manga, and gaming. I have an army of soldiers ready to march on my command. How does it feel being inferior? It's got to suck, right? Sucks more than Mia Khalifa, man, what can I say? Every day I wake up thinking, maybe today is my day, and then I remember that Young Defiant is out there. He's the king of anime, manga, and video games, and basically anything I can think of. And I just sit there in my bed and I cry knowing I could never have as good taste as him. I will never be able to raise armies to march for me, and he will always be superior to me in every single way. Because every couple months he makes a video dogging on the most popular game that's out. Out, saying it's garbage automatically because it's popular and because it's not old. Guys, this is truly so sad. Please smash a like on this video. It's the only thing that's going to keep me going anymore. But in all seriousness, what the hell is going on right now? I would love to see the army this dude has raised. This man's probably going to rival Julius Caesar for how good of a military leader he is. Well, not everyone can be great like me. We need Walmart readers. We need cart pushers. That's your destiny. It's not mine. I was born to rule. I was born to be successful. But anyway, back to this game. This game is going to flop hard. I mean, if you can't even get a higher score than the last game, 
this game, it, it's just, it's dead on arrival. No one's talking about it. That's why you think they had to get LeBron James and Ben Stiller and all these people to try to hype up this game. Why do you think you're seeing ads for it every five seconds? Because there's no hype for it. Nobody besides pathetic Sony fanboys, you can't take them seriously anyway, care about this game. Yeah, that's why the whole internet is talking about it right now. Sure, bud. I'm sure absolutely nobody is excited for the game whatsoever. Again, the irony in a PlayStation fanboy calling out another PlayStation fanboy. The only difference, dude, is you refused to change with the times. You had to be stuck in the PS3 and before era. All the Sony fanboys are trying to smack talk right now actually changed with the times. Well, except for the part about PlayStation exclusives going to PC. But I mean, look at all the recent examples. PlayStation fanboys would say Game Pass is trash and then they praise PS Plus, which is just a worse Game Pass. It's not even an exclusive, it's gonna go to PC like the last one. Couldn't even just be on PlayStation 5, had to, you know, <laughs> they had to appeal to the last year. If you're still playing on PS4, you're a loser. <laughs> Imagine not being able to own a PS5 at this point. Still making games for you budget gamers, you broke gamers. That could never be me. I, if I was the developer, I'd say, oh, you still got a PS4? That's your problem. Bum. Get a PS5. So earlier you were making fun of people who, you know, had just come in during the PS4 or PS5 generation, and now you're calling people losers if they don't own a PS5. What the hell is happening right now? So first this dude is a boomer PlayStation fanboy who doesn't like anything new, and now he's specifically a PlayStation 5 fanboy making fun of anybody who either can't afford a PS5 or who, you know, can't get one because of the scalpers. Once again, another Quantum TV argument tactic, poor shame people game still on ps4 <laughs> pathetic i mean in this game and you can't even call it that because this ain't no goddamn game it's a glorified movie a long drawn out cutscene. but it literally does nothing new from the trash god of war 2018 game and that is the reason why it got the same exact score as the last game it does nothing new brings nothing unique to this new installment but how do you know that? You haven't played the game yet. Also, I'm pretty sure in some of the trailers, we saw some new mechanics. Wasn't Kratos like whipping people with chains that were on fire at one point or something? I mean, forgive me if that's already in God of War 2018. I'm not super far into it, but from what I've seen, that's not a mechanic in that game. It's once again another Last of Us clone with instead of Joel and Ellie, Kratos and his trash son, which honestly probably ain't even his to be honest, but maybe they didn't have DNA tests back then. Then you got fake Norse mythology that doesn't even make sense, nothing is historically accurate, but do people care? Of course they don't. Of course they don't. People don't actually want to use their brains and think for themselves, you know. No wonder society is so messed up. Just so many dumb people with no guidance out there buying horrible stuff like this and believing fake reviews. I mean, dude, did you not see all the people on the internet giving Sony crap because, you know, God of War isn't 100% historically accurate? And they were, like, going woke or something like that? I don't know, I really don't want to have this conversation, honestly. Nothing good will come out of it. All I know is I saw people, like, a month or two back giving Sony crap for, like, being too woke with God of War or something like that. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna say anything else, and neither should you guys. I'm just, I'm just so disgusted, right, that... Reviews are not off of the quality of a game. It's off of how popular the game is, how they know if they come out and say the real facts. Because again, so many of these reviews, you can hear it in their voice. They want to say how bad this game is, but they know if they do, no more payments from Sony. No more review codes. Could you please provide one example of someone being so desperate to speak the truth and say, oh my god, this game sucks, but guys, I can't say that because I'm being paid by Sony. No, something tells me you're not going to provide any examples of that. Bunch of angry fanboys in the comments section saying they're going to unsubscribe and they're not watching anymore. Like, grow a pair, you cowards! What happened to gamers on the front lines that didn't give a damn about these pathetic fanboys? But yeah, now they got you scared. Now the God of War fanboys got you scared. The PlayStation fanboys got you scared. Uh-uh! Not me! 
Who is unironically scared of somebody else's opinion on the internet? Who's like, oh boy, I can't wait for God of War, but I can't let anybody else find out or else they're gonna make fun of me, oh no. I don't think anybody out there is unironically afraid of somebody else with a different opinion than them on a video game. Unless maybe he's projecting. Cause honestly, he kind of brought that up out of nowhere, so that would be possible. I'm gonna spit things fast regardless of who come for me. You gotta give a damn about what some nerds online gonna say. Nah, I'm gonna bring the real. God of War Ragnarok is a trash game, and all the reviews praising this game are lies. If you believe them, you are exactly what's wrong with gaming. Congratulations, pat yourselves on the damn back, because you're the reason why gaming is dead and gone forever. Get this garbage game out of my sight. Well guys, we somehow made it through the video, thank god. Basically what we learned today is God of War Ragnarok sucks even though he hasn't played it yet, and he didn't provide any reasons why it was bad besides it got a 94 out of 100, which is almost a perfect score. You really love to see it, a game sucks because it's almost got a perfect score from over 60 different reviewers. But anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video, thank you all so much for watching, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, subscribe if you want to see more and I will catch you all next time.